Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So today I wanted to look at drawing a basic flange. Uh, we're going to use the arc coordinate function. We're going to use the arc snap function. We're also going to use the line tangent function. And we're going to use the quick trim function. Using these functions, we'll be able to draw a basic flange. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to arc coordinates, and we're going to type in a coordinate value of 0, 0, so it's going to be on center, and the radius value is going to be 1.5, and then we'll choose OK. The next thing we want to do is draw a circle off to the right. This is going to be 2.5 inches off to the right, and the radius value is going to be 0.5 and then we'll choose OK and then we'll draw another radius uh, at negative two and a half and we'll choose OK. So now we've drawn the, the, the first group of circles. The next thing we want to do is create some tangent lines. So we'll do line tangent and we'll go from here to here, here to here, here to here, and here to here. Okay, now we want to snap some uh, circles to the center of these circles, so we'll do arc snap. This one's going to be a radius of a quarter inch, and then to pick up, as we move our mouse around, you can see it picks up different snap locations. We want to get the center location, so we'll hold down shift, left click on the arc, and then grab the one in the center, and then we'll change our radius value. This one's going to be one and an eighth and then we'll pick up our center location right there and then choose cancel. The last thing we want to do is trim away the geometry we don't want. So we'll do quick trim and we'll trim all the geometry that we don't want. We just click on it and it goes away. And that is our drawing example. Now, in the previous video we had set up this part here. Uh, what we want to do is take this geometry, we're going to select it, edit, copy, right click, cancel. We're going to go over to this, uh, this file here. We're going to create a new layer, turn everything else off, and then we're going to do an edit, paste, and this will paste this geometry on the screen. From here we want to drag it over to where we want it to be when we start cutting. So we're going to just drag it over to this location here. That looks about right. Okay. Now, what we want to do is select our inside shape. So we're going to right click, reselect, and we'll zoom in on the inside shapes we want to work with. And then we can recompute, and that will add our inside shapes. And then the next thing we want to do, uh, I'm sorry, we need to remove our geometry first. You know, all this tool path is on the screen, so it can be kind of confusing. We can uh, blank out our tool path. Actually, we could do it for the whole setup and that will make it a little easier to see what's going on. So we'll reselect our inside shapes here, and then we'll compute, and that will give us our inside shapes. Then we want to go to our outside shape. We're going to remove, reselect, select our outside shape, and recompute. And then we want to verify our start location, so we'll just modify this to, to this position here and recompute. So now we have our inside cutting and our outside cutting. We can unblank our tool path. You can see we still have an, our, our array set up, but we need to space the parts out a little bit. So we're going to just edit what our X dimension is. We're going to make this six and a quarter. And uh, that looks like that will work, but we need to drop the number of parts. So we'll edit this to six and a half, and then we'll go from three to two, and that looks better. So again, a simple drawing lesson, and using a file that we had already set up for machining, we're able to uh, copy and paste our geometry in, update our geometry selection, and program our new job. If you guys have any questions or comments or feedback, please reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.